Hey guys, Trico here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my deck house and welcome to my kitchen or kind of Adam's kitchen. This is my friend Adam. Say hi, Adam. And today is meal prep Monday. Now a big part of my life over the past six months has been this man's incredible cooking. Um, been cooking me uh, for me for like, what, six months now? Yeah, yeah. Cooking for both of us. Meal Prep Monday is very much alive here in the Deck House. So I've invited Adam to jump on and share one of his delicious recipes with us all. Today you are making... Uh, your favorite uh, Moroccan chicken. One of my firm favorites. Now I'm not gifted in the kitchen. This is very much Adam's space within my Deck House. So I'm gonna hand over to Adam, who's gonna take us all through Moroccan chicken. I'm gonna leave you in very capable hands. <laughs> The Moroccan chicken dish uses two kilos of on the bone chicken thighs. This will make approximately six to eight meals. And the rest of the ingredients that you'll need to follow along with this cook are listed below. First up, let's prep our ingredients. Wash all the tomatoes and carrots under cold water. Half all your tomatoes, top and tail your carrots, then slice into whatever chunky shapes you want. Chop your onions into chunky eights and then add to a baking tray. Finally, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Next up, mix together all the dry spices. We are using two tablespoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now we're gonna to blend together some fresh ginger, garlic, and red chilies. Don't forget you can de-seed the red chilies for a little bit less heat, and obviously don't forget to skin your ginger and garlic. You can then add a teaspoon of coconut oil, or any oil you have to hand, and a handful of fresh coriander. And if the blender isn't liking it, you can add a little bit of water just to help that blend. If you don't have a blender, you can achieve a similar mix by finely dicing and mixing the ingredients together. It won't be quite as fine, but it'll do the job. You then want to add the dry spices to the mix and blend it all together. Once that's all blended together nicely, you want to add the spice blend straight into your chicken thighs, making sure to massage the mixture in well and then season with salt and pepper. Place the marinated chicken thighs on top of your chopped vegetables on the tray and place it in the oven to cook for 35 to 40 minutes. Hey Ads, if we're waiting for the chicken to cook, come out on the balcony and join me for a drink. Yeah, I'll grab myself a glass. No, I've got one for you. Come straight out. Drink there for you, darling. Oh. So, how long? How long have we got? 35 minutes. Oh, great. Cheers. Enjoy mm. life. See, this is it's all a man needs. It's just food, drink. Well, I was going to say sunshine and vodka. I mean, I mean, I, I like the food though. <laughs> I need need damn food. But sometimes I'm good. That's what I'm Is there much left to do now? We're almost there. Now pour three bags of couscous into an oven proof bowl. Add our tin of drained chickpeas and raisins and give it a quick mix. 
Then pour the juices from the chicken onto the couscous and mix thoroughly. Now place everything back into the oven for five more minutes and guess what, it's all done. Well, Adam, you've done it again. <laughs> I try. It smells delicious. <laughs> so this is what the Moroccan chicken looks like. Um, it, oh my God, it just smells delicious. So we are here with the meal prep boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so just six, and then we've got some left over to have dinner today. So um, this is meal prep Monday. So it goes into the meal prep boxes. So let's see you portion it out. Indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. Let's go in a bit closer. And while you're doing that, I just want to say what I love about this dish is it kind of gives me roast dinner kind of vibes because I look forward to having the beautiful smell of um, hot cooked chicken. Um, <laughs> Flooding out the microwave when I reheat it. So just talk to us a little bit about what happens after this. Because we let, it, I, we let it cool down, right? And then it goes in the fridge. Talk to us about that and then reheating it and stuff. Yeah, so um, yeah, we, we, we let it cool, like fully cool down before it goes into the fridge because obviously it is chicken. So we want it to come to room temperature um, just before we go and refrigerate it. Just safety, always safety first. Um, and yeah, after that, you uh, always recommend it is meat, it is chicken, so four and a half minutes in the microwave. Um, the couscous, we are using all of the juices from chicken, so that's the flavour, that's the fat. So we're not adding any calories, we're just adding flavour. So usually on a meal prep Monday, Adam will make us three, sometimes four different dishes. So we'll have four maybe of one, three of another one, four of another one. Today we've just done, or he's just done, the Moroccan <laughs> chicken, just to highlight this one dish. But maybe in other videos, we can do another meal prep Monday and we can do some other dishes mm -hmm. and share some of those recipes because Adam has got quite the collection. Um, but honestly, this Moroccan chicken is a firm favorite. It goes down quite well, there are, there are fans. I do debone this, um, so I will let it cool all the way down, and then it's super duper easy just to push that bone out. So if you have, you know, fussy kids or or fussy treacles, or fussy treacles um, literally to debone it, wait for it to be cooked, and then push the bone out, and you're all good. And voila. Well, that's the week sorted, but let's enjoy one each now for dinner. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Can't wait to get tucked into this. Thank you for joining us for this Meal Prep Monday. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. We've got more coming, more Meal Prep Monday. If I can get Adam back in the kitchen, I'm sure that will happen. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thank you.